That right there is a 20-acre boulder field. We're getting on this trail that comes away from the boulder field, and there's going to be tons and tons of newts here. Today, I'm headed to the Pocono Mountains of northeastern Pennsylvania. For most of the day, I'll be at a cabin with my family and friends, but we're stopping at an interesting natural landmark on the way. I'm planning to find tons of salamanders at both places. The subspecies of salamander in this video is the red-spotted newt, a subspecies of the eastern newt. You'll hear me refer to both of these names throughout this video. Also, my camera was dead, so I had to use a phone to record this video. For that reason, the footage may seem a little shaky, and the audio might be kind of weird. The first tarp of the day is this little eastern newt. This is actually the terrestrial um, juvenile. When they become adults, they enter the water and turn brownish green. But this one is beautiful, it's very orange. Um, and we actually haven't reached our final destination yet. We're at this big boulder field. I'll show you that in a minute. But, first trip of the day. Two of them. They're just so pretty because they're orange. Just so weird. Okay, here's a look at this boulder field. This actually formed in the last ice age. It is thought that a glacier stopped right over this spot, which was just a forest at the time. The low temperatures froze the ground and killed off all the trees. When summer came, water from the melting glacier washed all the soil away. With no soil, there was only bedrock exposed. During the day, water would seep into these porous rocks, so when the temperatures dropped at night, the water froze which formed cracks and broke the bedrock into many smaller pieces, or boulders. Once all of the snow and ice melted, a unique 20-acre boulder field was exposed. We're getting on this trail that comes away from the boulder field, and there's going to be tons and tons of newts here. the spot where I will be for most of the day and there are lots of salamanders here. So let's see if you can see it. Despite the fact that it's bright orange, sometimes they're actually a little bit difficult to find. You can see those little red spots. It's why this um, subspecies is called the red spotted newt. And this one's actually the biggest one of the day for sure. Very pretty looking. I looked up and I saw that. It is another newt. Definitely very colorful salamanders. This is another big one. The ones I found earlier today were all a lot smaller. Okay, we got another one. It's another newt. This one's actually a lot smaller. And it's like dark. I love these guys. They're just some of my favorite salamanders. So I'm going to show you how I'm finding these um, salamanders. So pretty much I just walk around looking at all these leaves and just looking for the bright orange of a newt. So I just look around everywhere and sometimes I look again because you can miss them surprisingly easily. Here we go. That's a little newt. Usually they're a little more out in the open. Okay, right here we've got um, an Easter newt that actually hasn't moved at all since I found him. So he was just, he's just a little king of the mountain. So there he is. He's not a very big one though. He's one of the smaller ones I've seen today. They just don't want to get away. They just want to stay there. 
They um, depend on their bright colors to warn predators that they are poisonous and they do not taste good and they could probably make a smaller predator sick. Um, so they depend on those bright colors to scare predators away rather than getting away themselves. Okay, so I still have this same one. Um, and I realized it's actually a strange individual. It has no spots except for one. So it's not spotted. It's only got one spot. There is a newt right here. Well then, another salamander out in the open. I don't know where it went. It went down in the leaves somewhere. I'll have to find it. I was digging through those leaves for a while, but I wasn't able to find any... I wasn't able to find that newt again, so I guess it got away. All of the salamanders in this video were still young. To learn about the adult stage of the eastern newt, watch my video, Learn About the Eastern Newt. The link for that video is in the description below. That'll be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. I'm Micah. Subscribe, learn more, and go herping.